Each of the students in a certain class received a single grade of P, F, or I. What percent of the students in the class were females? And so from the prompt, it sort of sounds like they might be trying to set us up for an overlapping set question where our two groups are grade and then gender. However, it wouldn't really, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a necessarily a two variable overlapping set because so for gender, we get males and females, but then for grades, we get three possible values, P, F, or I. So I might hold off on assuming this is an overlapping set of question. Or one thing I can do is I can look ahead at my statements to see how those are phrased. And here I see in the second statement that they sort of group F or I together into a single group. So given that, I'm thinking, well, maybe it is a two variable overlapping set. And so my groups would be, so I got gender. And so I got males and females. And then uh, for my uh, grades, I got P and then I sort of have not P, which really means F or I, right? As a single group. And so if I think of it this way, it looks like I should be able to set this problem up as a two variable overlapping set. Um, and we want to know uh, what percent of the students in the class were females. And so we can say, so my males over here are M, my females here are F, and then my total students here is T. And so we're looking for F over T, right? And then not much more information in our prompt. And so let's look at our statements and circle these. So I know these come from the prompt. Of those who received a P, and so everyone here, these are my total P, 40% uh, were female. So if my total students receiving a grade of P is P, then females who received a P should be 0.4 P, which means males who received a P should be 0.6 P. And so then I'm looking for F over T, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get that from here because I can't put these values here in terms of P or anything like that. So this is going to be insufficient. And I'm going to put a little one here so I know this information came from the first statement. Statement two, of those who received either an F or an I, 80% were male. So I don't want to have a variable called FI because that would be confusing. So I'm just going to call this X. So uh, my students received F or I, we'll say is X. And then of those, 80% were male. So 0.8X were males who received F or I, and that means 0.2x were females who received F or I. These come from the second statement. And again, though, so by itself, uh, we have the same problem we did with the first statement, that we can't get uh, our values here in terms of X or anything like that. So this will also be insufficient. And then so what about our two statements together? So now it looks like we can get everything in terms of P and X, is that sufficient to answer our question? And so we're looking for F over T. So F is really equal to 0.4 P plus 0.2 X. And then T is equal to P plus X. And that's about as far as we can go. And it does not look like uh, we can go any further. And so that means this is still insufficient. It means the values for F over T are dependent on our values for P and X. And if they weren't dependent, if this ratio here wasn't dependent on a value for P and X, our P's and X's would all cancel out, but they don't. Uh, and so this is as far as you can go, still insufficient E.